Hey ladies, today is Sunday, June 14th, 2020, 48 weeks um, out, almost at 49 weeks, and almost to 52 weeks, which was my ultimate uh, goal here when this stopped, um, when Michaela turned a year. Um, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, what is new going on? Well, right now I'm really trying to figure out breastfeeding. So yeah, I've been breastfeeding and Michaela only drinks breast milk. She hasn't had formula in, I don't know, maybe since she's been four months, I think. Around that time, I think that's when she rejected formula. Um, but I used to give formula and breast milk and then it just became, I was kind of forced at that point to just move to only breast milk. And so between pumping and nursing, she's been on breast milk exclusively since that point. So when I first started, when she was first born, my plan was to try to get to, I guess, a year. But at that point, a year seemed like it was really far. So I was kind of just taking it like, you know, as far as I could take it. It was like, okay, if I can do three months, then six months. Then, but I almost always knew that I wanted to get to pretty much get to a year. So here we are a couple of weeks out from a year and I'm trying to figure out, do I go two years? Now, two years would be pretty great, right? Like it's ideal. It's what's recommended two years on breast milk. Um, and you know, not two years on bottles. Cause I think they're supposed to give up bottles around, um, between 12 and 16 months at, at her. And she's already kind of like iffy with her bottles, um, but she's not great at drinking breast milk out of out of a cup. Um, so we have to work on that. She kind of, even with her, um, we don't use sippy cups, but we use the, the 360, Magic 360 by Munchkin um, cups. And she loves them. She drinks water out of them. Um, but she drinks, right now she drinks her milk either from a bottle or from um, straight from nursing. And so I'm kind of thinking, I gave her breast milk once in the 360 cup. And similar to a sippy cup, she took a couple of sips and she put it down. And that's kind of what they do with sippy cups. But that spout on sippy cups and the sipping of sippy cups, you know, sometimes she'll guzzle water from her Magic 360, which I don't know if that's great. But um, but she was kind of with the milk, with the breast milk in the in the magic 360 cup she was kind of just taking a sip here and there but she wasn't drinking the whole amount which is what I really want her to do like similar so with a bottle they kind of drink it down um but she has been on this kick lately where she doesn't always want to drink from the bottle so I'm trying to figure out what to do because do I stop in a couple of weeks or do I continue on um and if I don't continue what am I doing am I doing cow milk um I have exposed her to dairy because she used to be on formula and um she more recently even though she doesn't drink formula anymore she has had cheese and she has had yogurt so um and both of them were made with cow milk so I know she shouldn't have an issue with cow milk but she's never actually had it again because it's not recommended until they're a year old so who's to say she'll drink that any better than she does, um, you know, breast milk out of a cup, but she nurses well. So this is the thing. I used to like nursing, but when she got teeth, it became a lot harder. We went through a phase where she would bite. Occasionally now she bites, but more so than bite, sometimes she doesn't latch correctly and she scrapes me with her teeth and then I try to relatch her and it's just you know your your nipples and your breasts and the whole areola area gets sore at least with me and I'm just like I don't know how to fix this you know thankfully she's never bit into me and drew blood I have heard about stories about that and it's never caused any sort of scabbing or or um sores but the scraping is listen um <laughs> and so I'm not sure how to get her to latch in a way where that's not happening um but you know she drinks right now she drinks half her milk from nursing and half from bottles 
So I need to figure out because I hate pumping and I don't want to continue to pump. I could just do all bottles. Um, I just, I mean, anyone who pumps know that pumping is not fun. It's not great. Um, it takes a lot of your time. And early on, I used to triple feed. So we went from triple feeding to just, you know, well, I guess it's still kind of triple feeding, but I don't do, I don't do it at every, you know, triple feeding is when you pump, give a bottle and nurse at every feed. I do not do that. I did that when she was a newborn. I do not do that anymore. It's like, you know, she'll get her a bottle and I'll nurse throughout a day, a portion of the day to refill the bottles that she drank. And then the rest of the day I nurse. So that is how I've been doing it since she's been older. Um, now, or since we've been in quarantine, when I was at work, it was pretty much just pumping. She was getting bottles during the day. And then when I got home, I would nurse. So, um, which was pretty much similar to what I'm doing now. Um, but I'm trying to figure out like, what do I do going forward once this year is up? Should I switch to cow milk? Um, or should I could nurse the option is I could nurse completely give up pumping nurse and supplement with cow milk if I feel she's not getting enough through nursing but I am still working and things are opening up right now I'm working from home I would I'm hoping to be able to continue working from home for um you know as long as they'll allow <laughs> and um my my office has come up with a plan to return to the office where what they're going to do, even if we, if when they do return, um, would be that they'll be on a 50% schedule. That's what they're calling it. And so you'd work every other week in the office and every other week home, but every Friday we'd also be in at home. So essentially on the week when you're in the office, you would work Monday through Thursday in the office that Friday you would be at home and then the following week you'd be at home. And so that's how it is. So in any, you only going to do four weeks, four days, excuse me, in the office in, in a week. And so it's only eight days in a month in the office. Um, but, um, you know, given my risk factors that, um, I have asthma and I now have hypertension, I would hopefully like to just skip that and just work from home. Um, continuously without doing this back and forth and I think that's going to be possible or at least for a while if not you know who knows for however long this all continues so um it's kind of hard for me to nurse during the day I guess I could but it is hard to nurse during the day it's easier to just give her a bottle she can hold it herself but again she's kind of been rejected bottles so if I can get her to drink the milk out of the cup, maybe I just give her a cup and let her hold it herself. I don't really know. I don't know how, how people do it or what they do. But maybe the easiest thing for me would be to just try to nurse. And if I feel she needs additional milk, to give her cow's milk. Um, for some reason, I don't like the idea of cow's milk. Um, I don't know. I, you know, it's just... A, or any animal milk. Because that animal's milk is meant for that animal's baby. And so since I've been breastfeeding, I'm like, breast milk is for human babies. Cow milk is for cow babies. And that's really what it's for. But people act like it's so weird when you see someone breastfeeding their child, especially if their child is an older child, like over a year old or two, or sometimes three or however long people go. Where it's like, you think it's normal to give a child cow milk, which is meant for you know, young cows is not meant for young kid, pit people. And it's fine. We drink it. I'm not knocking it. I drink, oh, I don't drink cow milk now, but I grew up on cow milk, so I'm not knocking it. But it's just, I'm knocking people who think it's weird to give breast milk, which is specifically designed, you know, for humans in a way that no other fluid and milk or supplement can be. Um, You know, so I haven't figured out what I'm going to do. I'm still trying to figure that out. I let you guys know in this transition, um, but I'd like to give her another year of breast milk, even if it's not exclusively breast milk, like right now she's doing exclusively breast milk. Um, even if it's not exclusively breast milk, um, I'd like to give her at least another year of breast milk. I mean, I think it's been invaluable in keeping her healthy. She has never had a cold. Thank God, you know, she hasn't really been sick. We had one time where she had 104 fever. I don't know what it was from. 
you know, other moms had told me it sounds like teething, but the doctor didn't say it was teething. I don't know. She had no other symptoms. You know, we got the fever to go and she was fine. So, um, I really, she like hasn't been sick. Thank you God um, for that. And I really do, you know, attribute that to, to breast milk and breastfeeding. So, um, but it's hard. So I understand anyone who doesn't stick with it because it's hard and it's painful at times and so many things with breastfeeding. But I do think for us, it has been a good choice, at least for this first year. And we'll see what happens from here. So that's really it. Um, I'll update you guys next week. Um, continue to stay safe and we'll talk soon.